Hey guys, so tonight I'm going to carve the neck. Uh, what I've first gone and done is trace the outline of the neck pocket here. So I know I definitely don't want to carve any wood away from there. Um, I'm going to start by carving the contour of the neck right by the headstock and right by the body. And then I can join those two contours by carving the rest of the neck to match. Um, then I'll just need to carve the heel and the headstock. So now that I've carved the two contours here, I'm going to start with a spoke shave and see how that goes. Uh, Wengi tends to splinter and this maple is a little dicey too, so if it doesn't go well I'm just going to have to use the belt sander. That was frustrating, so I'm just going to move ahead with the belt sander. Safety first. Here you can see I have my rough contour end to end, so I'll start working on the transitions at the two ends and then just start smoothing everything out. My camera's not cooperating so I'm going to do this with the GoPro. Uh, just carving the neck heel here with a half round file. So the last thing I need to do before final sanding and finish is uh, just actually fretting this thing. Um, so what I'll start by doing is just cutting the frets to length and then trimming the tangs along the edges so you don't see that little T on the sides. Um, lay them, fill the, fill the edges and sand. There's all my fret wires cut. Just cut the ends of the tang off with some end cutters. And then use a Dremel to trim whatever's left. I can just hammer these in, making sure the uh, tangs aren't exposed. And using my little hammer. Okay, now I just need to trim off the ends. I'm just going to file off any excess on the edge of these frets now. Get them flush and just a slight bevel as well. So now that the edges of the frets are aligned with the edge of the neck, I'm just going to fill all those little gaps along the sides. I think the rest of the fretwork is beyond the scope of this uh, video. It's pretty tedious and boring. Ah. 
So what I'm going to do here is just sand this edge. And you can see pretty quickly that all those little gaps fill with sawdust. And I'll just put a drop of super glue in there. Now that the glue's dried along the edges, I'm just going to start by scraping it and sanding it flush again. So that's about it. Uh, any darkness here will, will kind of disappear once I put an actual finish on it. Um, but at this point, <clears throat> the neck just needs more sanding and then finish an assembly. <clears throat> yep.